If Krillin was on Earth during Omni-Man's attack, would he have been able to stop him? Krillin was on Earth. Would he have stopped Omni-Man? Oh my goodness. Let's let's go ahead and go through the facts. Krillin is arguably the strongest. He is actually not arguably. He is the strongest human in the DBZ universe. No, I don't. I don't believe so. I, I, so? I, 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 I don't think so. I mean, Viltrumites, Viltrumites alone are they savage. This question has been going around social media the last week, and honestly, I am so glad we are having this conversation. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the definitive proof on who wins in this fight. Could Krillin have stopped Omni-Man if Omni-Man tried to take over Earth? This is going to be the definitive answer. I don't want to hear it because it's not even a conversation. But let me know what you guys think of this conversation. Do you believe that Krillin can defeat Omni-Man? Could have stopped him from taking over Earth? Or do you think that Omni-Man would have killed Krillin? Let me know in the comment section below. And watch till the end of the video. See if you got it right. See what the answer actually is. And as always, huge shout out to the Black squad you guys are awesome the ones that are here every single day hitting the like button commenting all that stuff you guys are the goats and if you're new around here hit that subscribe button turn on all notifications because we are gearing up to get ready to take over the 500k mortal plan let's jump into it had enough yet no i'm ready when you are <laughs> You're doing this for nothing. Being a part of the Empire will make Earth better than it ever was. Thanks for the tip. So I'm gonna start off by saying that I absolutely love Invincible. I literally just re-watched the finale with my son because he just watched it for the first time for season two. And I think that Invincible is one of my favorite comic book superheroes and Omni-Man is one of my favorite comic book beings of all time and just the universe is just fully fleshed out it is awesome if you have not seen invincible absolutely go watch it now i have not read the comic book so i'm caught up only to about the second season and i know some spoilers here and there but a lot of people on social media are really going to bat for omni man and the viltrumites and trying to like show their feats and show how powerful they are show where they are in the power gap and what they can do and kind of like really trying to convince everybody that they would have a an incredibly easy time against someone like Krillin when there's really only one piece of proof that you absolutely need. This piece of proof is just so goddamn powerful that I don't care who you are. I don't care what your belief is in each of these fandoms. I don't even care if you're like a invincible YouTuber or just know all the lore for Invincible and really just kind of dive into that. I don't care about any of that because you are absolutely going to be humbled by this information because it is that powerful. And that is that Krillin is going to win this fight, hands down. There is no if, ands, or buts about it, and I don't need that much information to convince you guys. I really only need one, one image. Just one. That's it. One image, guys. That's all it's going to take for me to convince every single person watching this video. Krillin, his durability alone is going to be enough to face off against someone like Nolan. And as always, the manga provides because I have the answer right here, and that is this image right here. This is Dragon Ball Super Chapter 98. This is Chapter 98, and this is the fight between all the Z Fighters and Cell Max. Now, Krillin doesn't do a lot of fighting at all in this. He kind of is there just for support. He watches Pan, and that's basically it. 18 is really the one that gets down and dirty with Cell Max. But in this image right here, Krillin actually goes to try to support, and he pulls out some techniques that he thinks is going to save some time or help them buy some time, so that way somebody can actually kill Cell Max but he gets caught off guard by Cell Max, and Cell Max swats him and Android 18 into the pavement, into the dirt. Now, I don't really 
think that the Dragon Ball fandom that is watching this video right now needs any reminders as to how powerful Cell Max actually is. But Cell Max at this stage right here is supposed to be as powerful as Broly. That is how powerful Cell Max is. So Cell Max swatting Krillin, and this is him coming at full speed here because he is not playing around. He literally just knocked out both Gohan and Piccolo, and then he comes in to finish off Krillin and a teen like this isn't something where he's pulling back at all he swats them into the ground and so you're probably wondering to yourself like what's what's the point of all this well let me show you the panel where we actually see these two characters this is it right here this is the next panel that we see both Krillin and Android 18 now Krillin is still in the fight he is still pretty much standing on both two feet after a smack like that and 18 she's holding her arm because this is the arm she landed in the ground with so even though Krillin took the brunt of the force 18 basically got not only the blunt force from Cell Max's hit, but also hitting the ground at the same time. That's why her arm is like that. But that just shows how powerful Cell Max is, that he's able to injure somebody like Android 18. So if we're saying that he injured someone like 18, and Krillin, because he was cushioned by 18's body, is kind of her, but not really, but he was able to take the impact of Cell Max's slap, then I would say right here and now that Krillin, his durability is through the freaking roof for an earthling. He is way more durable than Invincible and he is way more durable than Omni-Man because there is no universe whatsoever that you can tell me that Cell Max slapping Omni-Man into the ground like this isn't going to end with Omni-Man coming out covered in bruises with a broken arm and just completely almost flatlined. Because if you're telling me that Omni-Man has the ability to do all this, then that means that Omni-Man can survive attacks from Broly. And I don't think anybody is saying that because it's, it, it is ridiculous. There's no way that Omni-Man is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Broly let alone survive any of his attacks an attack like this as well he's not going to survive this and this is not to mention that krillin when he first got into the battlefield he actually used solar flare against cell max blinding him like krillin has a bunch of techniques he can use against someone like omni man that he is not prepared for and blinding him even though omni man has fought without his eyesight is one of those techniques including kamehameha including uh destructo disc there's so many abilities and techniques that krillin could use against omni man that omni man would be just at a complete and total loss of. And even if, even if say, we're just saying that Krillin is the only one that faces off against Omni-Man, say Vegeta, Goku, and the rest of the Z-Squad decided to let him have this one because it's somebody as weak as Omni-Man coming to the planet, trying to kill everybody or trying to enslave it. I don't believe one second that Android 18 is not gonna jump in to help out her husband. There's nothing in me and nothing in her that actually says, that is going to happen. She has always jumped in to help Krillin and Krillin has always jumped in to help her. They've always done that in Dragon Ball Super. So this is something that Nolan would have to face off against as well. Not only the strongest Earthling, but also Android 18, who's well above Super Saiyan level, which I don't even believe that Omni-Man could face off against a Super Saiyan. So Omni-Man is completely cooked in this type of fight and Krillin would absolutely defend Earth and honestly, I think he would defend Earth relatively easily. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Subscribe for more content.